our bran mashes beneficial to horses, how often should I feed my horse a bran mash? You know, this is one of Did my you vote favorite for this topics. Were am you I, in am I losing two nine nine nine? So bran mashes. Being a horse owner, I understand how good it feels, like warm and fuzzy, when you can cook up with all sorts of tasty tidbits, carrots and, and apples and whatever. There's all kinds of recipes. Mm -hmm. A nice warm bran mash in the winter. And I know a lot of people do it like once a week, a Friday, whatever. However, bran, wheat bran, is got a, a lopsided or upside down calcium to phosphorus ratio. That's the first problem. Mm -hmm. In horses, their diet's supposed to be one to one or one to two um, calcium to phosphorus. And so... So one to one, one to two means like equal amounts or twice as much. Or a little bit, actually I said that backwards, two to one calcium, a little bit more calcium. Okay. So equal amounts of calcium to phosphorus or a little bit more calcium. Okay. Bran is a one to 12, so it has one part calcium, 12 parts phosphorus. That feels like more than upside down. It, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's quite, and so you can balance for it, but it takes a lot of, of diet manipulation and an uh, expert nutritionist to help you. So then just don't give it, mm -hmm. right, is, is, one, is one choice. The other problem with bran is people think it's high fiber. In people whose diets are about 2% fiber, it is high fiber. But in horses, whose diet's way higher, it's, it's not. You're actually decreasing the fiber content of your horse's diet by giving it. So then you ask, why does it serve as a laxative and the horse have better quality, wetter uh, bowel movements? Why does it move stuff through? It, what might be happening, it doesn't actually, what might be happening is, you know how we say don't change your horse's diet mm -hmm. quickly, but mm -hmm. do it over time, like 7 to 10 or 14 days? Sure. What are you doing when you're feeding your horse, you're feeding your horse, and then on Friday you give it a bran mash? You're changing the diet suddenly. Rapidly, So sure. what you're causing maybe is a digestive, a mild digestive upset and loose stool. Mm. And then in a day or two your horse recovers. So why would we do that? Yeah, um, that, is not, that does not feel like a treat. It doesn't. And I hear stories about going down the barn and giving hot brain meshes, and one horse says, no thanks. He's maybe experienced the gassiness mm. and bloating, and is like, I'm all good. So it's tasty. They love it, but it might, it might not be the best choice. There are some better choices. Like if you want to make a mash, you can use a complete feed and add water to it, a beet pulp. Alpha pellets. There's there's other things that are more balanced and appropriate for horses. Yeah, I think a lot of people, um, at least a lot of what I've heard as justification for bran mashes, is people saying, "But the horses love it." They and do, it's like, well, and of I love they Fritos do. and it's Ding exactly Dongs. Clear right. We have to, you know, make those responsible choices, and it's up to us to make the right choice for our horses. Based so. on science, yeah. yeah. Science gets you every time. <laughs>